Namaste and welcome to my channel. I am Madame Rosa, fortune teller, five star interpreter of the Book of Destiny, also known as the Atlantean Oracle or the Order of the Magi. I'm going to put a link up here so you can look at a little video I made about it. Um, I want to be able to tell everybody what their planetary, what their birth card and their planetary ruling cards are. And this was the only way I saw fit to do it by making a series called If You Were Born This Week, Learn or Discover Your Birth Card and Your Planetary Ruling Card. Now, by way of introduction, you may have heard of um, Paramahansa Yogananda, who wrote Autobiography of a Yogi. Um, when I went to India in 2014, 2015, I bought the book because it was staring at me and I read it. And I realized I had written it in my past life. And I want to show you the magic of this star system and um, visionary uh, predictions and things. In my parents in early life, the first chapter, the first person that Yogananda mentions is his guru, who happened to have been my mother in this life. But onto the star system, he does actually address his parents on the second page. And this is very stained. It traveled through India with me, and I was in India for a year. I had lived there a long time ago in the 80s, and of course in my most recent past life. Um, in When he does finally address his parents, he mentions, oops a daisy, let me see if you can see that, but mother was a queen of hearts and taught us only through love. Okay, so Queen of Hearts. And I just want to point out that in this lifetime, my very mother in my past life is my actual daughter in this life. And um, she was born on August, August um, 27th, which is the day the birth card is the Queen of Hearts. So I just want you to understand the magnitude of this system. And I want to show you another... Um, Coincidence, but there are no coincidences. Yogananda was born on uh, January 5th, and that made him the nine of spades, the universal giver of life, spades representing work and health. And he was also the four of clubs, somebody who has a great uh, satisfied mind, a grounded uh, foundation in knowledge, and it makes somebody good at what they do. And so this was Yogananda born on January 5th. And he did. He gave life. He taught meditation, Kriya Yoga. He taught a lot about spiritual things. And he enlightened a lot of people. And a lot of people considered him very, uh, very, very holy. In this life, I was born in January. But on the last day, January 31st, which makes me the Nine of Clubs and the, the Four of Clubs. So similarly, I have almost the same cards. But in this life, I'm the universal giver of knowledge. So do please enjoy the system. I want to show you what uh, uh, the Book of Destiny looks like when I do a reading for you. Um, this is 40 years. I mean, no, not 40. I have 99 years of each card in the Book of Destiny. And this is the 40th the 40 through the 49th year. And these are called the yearly spreads. And what I can do is um, interpret the book expertly. But each one of the cards lies in a specific astrological um, house, either Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Venus, Saturn, okay? So I know it's a little amorphous right now, but I want to get on with the series, and I want to wish everybody who comes to this channel a very happy birthday and a very wonderful year. Your year always begins and ends on your birthday, so it's particular to you. And when we use the Book of Destiny, of course, we need your, your year of birth so we can look at your your age, what your 50th year is going to be like, your 20th year, your 30th, whatever, from zero to 99. Um, again, welcome to my channel and um, namaste and enjoy this series and make up. If you were born on December 15th, you're the three of clubs and the five of diamonds. The three of clubs is known as the card of the writer. And the Five of Diamonds is the card of the salesperson. I call it the TV star card. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Um, the threes are like all threes. They can be world-class. The Three of Clubs, like all threes, can be world-class warriors. Because the three is 
if you look at an eight on its side, you'll see that it's an infinity symbol and a three is half of it without the other um, completing side, which can make it a warrior until it creates. So all of the threes are artists and the three of clubs are artists with regard to mental pursuits. In other words, they can be very creative mentally and oftentimes are gifted writers. Okay, so please do uh, watch my video all about the threes and I will have a video out for each of the numbers and the and the royalty uh, jacks, kings and queens coming out. The five of diamonds is the seeker of worth as diamonds represent money and they represent values. So this is a person who may seem like a rolling stone who gathers no moss until they find that which um, grounds them, that which gives them the passion and dedication to stick to one thing. They can flit around to many different, um, I guess, schools or ideas, jobs, ways of making money, and certainly travel. So this is a card of somebody who does not like routine and does like change and variety. And like many fives, they can be a little quirky with regard to love, as the threes can be as well. And being that these are two odd cards, the odd cards are stepping away from the even. Two, two being an even card and the three is the next one up. And the fours, then you go to five. The threes and the fives and all even cards are going to be those who seek to create something and an achievement outside of themselves that will give them satisfaction in life. So yeah, this is somebody who's going to like change and variety, perhaps a little bit of variety, even when it comes to love. So understand this about yourself and it may be something to focus on and to, um, to handle before you may be finding that stability that you do seek. If um, you may find that, that desire for variety reflected in people that you attract in your life to mirror that within yourself. Now, let me pull some cards for your birthday and everybody's birthday begins and ends. Everybody's year begins and ends on their birthday, not on the calendar year, but everybody's um, full year begins and ends on their birthday. So people's birthdays do overlap. And the first card I'm going to pull for you is an Ascended Masters card. And the first card I get for you is, oh, wow, okay, choose peace. Paramahansa Yogananda, who I claim to have been in my past life. I do think that this is one of the funniest looking renditions of Paramahansa Yogananda. His face looks not as attractive, I think, that it did in person. <laughs> but, um... Oh my gosh. Now, when I do that, I tend to lack a focus on my camera. Let me see if I can refocus my camera. Darn it. All right. So, yes, Paramahansa Yogananda was a, an avatar and a prolific writer. He didn't only write Autobiography of a Yogi, but in any case, you may want to read the book, um, but most certainly your year will be one, hopefully, wherein you will be choosing peace, um, bringing peace where there might be discord, deciding to back off, rephrase things until you can do so, and speak in a way that will elicit peace in your relationships. So yeah, choose peace, and maybe read a little bit of uh, Yogananda's work. Um, Alrighty, so let's pull you a um, an angel therapy card, Doreen Virtue style. And I get, you are a powerful light worker. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings in loving service to the divine. So yes, you are a psychic, you are a light worker, you are a healer, you may be mediumistic, you may be somebody who does great Reiki. In some form or another, you are a light worker. Whatever modality um, you will be eliciting forth in this lifetime, you are somebody who is here to bring great light and healing to your family, your friends, or to the, the, um, the collective at large. So 
this is something you might be focusing on. I have a girlfriend who is born, a very dear friend who is born on December 15th, and she's just decided at my urgence to, or I've been urging her to get back into her, her um, she's a medium, and so she's decided she's going to do it. And so this might be something you're either going to take straight away into the public or something you'll be working on. So excellent. Now we're going to pull you a magical mermaids and dolphins card, another from the Doreen, collect, Doreen Virtue Collection. And the card that I get for you for this year is set your sights higher. Increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. So this is going to be a year wherein you are achieving goals and, and progressing and not settling at one level tier that you may have reached. Perhaps in any area of your life, this is a thought that you may want to have. Don't settle. So it looks like this is going to be a year of great progress, peace, insight. And now I would like to pull you a water crystal oracle. So, all right, the card that I get is this beautiful card here. And on the back of it, it is dolphin. And so like all water crystal oracles, these are the uh, magnified, um, magnified water crystals that have developed after people have, either these have been derived from certain areas like certain um streams or or uh like um I'm, I'm stopped i can't remember the name but these are crystals that have been focused on by human beings when they think of dolphin and we're so telepathically related to this mammal and this species they're highly intelligent they're um very highly sensing beings they sense through echo location they're very sociable very fun loving and i think the dolphin is reminding you this year to work with the groups of people they travel in pods of anywhere from maybe approximately 30 to thousands of um, dolphins in these pods that they travel in so the dolphin is reminding you to stay playful and and basically seek harmony and and stay in tune they're very um, fun-loving and intelligent beings. One would say they're even mystical and magical. So on this note, I just want to wish you a happy birthday and um, let you know that in the description box below is all my information in case you want to look into the Book of Destiny at your specific year, which does include your birth year and the birthdays and birth years of anybody you want to look at. So again, happy, happy birthday and namaste. If you were born on December 16th, you're the Two of Clubs and the Four of Diamonds. The Two of Clubs is the card of conversation, and like all twos, they love to find a soul union and to be in a partnership in life. This is the card of conversation, so this is a person who loves to stay after parties and be the one to help clean up and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, maybe with the hostess, and they love one-on-one -on -one conversation. But it's also the fear of death card. This card has um, a tendency to feel as though plan A will not work out when in fact it will. But they may maintain a plan B in their life. Um, so that's one of the, the aspects of the two of clubs is that they may feel as though whatever they're working on will not work out. It's like a deep maybe um, doubt when everything that they're doing is probably going to just be fine and we'll never have to go to plan B and the plan A will work out. I also, um, I want to tell you that if you're born on the 16th year, the salt of the earth, somebody with a very firm foundation, that's the card, uh, the four of diamonds, I call it the salt of the earth card because it's somebody who has a firm foundation and values 
and somebody who knows what's important, like friends and family, for example, uh, they put their priorities in the right place. And because of that, they will um, attract a secure foundational and satisfying financial experience in this lifetime. So they're very, um, like I mentioned in, um, in another video who has the four of uh, diamonds as one of their cards is that this is a person who does experience a lot of restlessness, however, and until they overcome that internal restlessness, they may not find the satisfaction, um, that they seek until they, of course, you know, contend with that, that restless nature that they have. So let's, let's pull a few cards for your year, which is between December 16th and December 16th. We'll start with the Ascended Masters deck, and I'll pull you one card for just a short and sweet birthday treat. So yeah, you're, you're somebody with a very firm foundation and what looks like very good marriage karma. Again, once your inner restlessness is uh, contended with. All right, so, ooh, flow of prosperity with the Four of Diamonds. That's no doubt. So, okay, Lakshmi, flow of prosperity. Looks as though this is going to be a prosperous year for you. Let us do an angel therapy card. So, okay, this is going to be a great prosperous year. And the next card for you. is you are profoundly clairvoyant all right and this says here trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as with your physical sight for your spiritual vision helps you with healing teaching and guidance and it also motivates you to achieve what it is that you want to achieve in your mind's eye. So if you have some inclination um, that's been given to you from on high, chances are it's all very true and it's something that you will see before you actually achieve it. So trust your your um, clairvoyant, your clairvoyance, your ability to see clearly. Okay, now we're gonna do magical mermaids and dolphins. Magical mermaids and dolphins. When I get, make a decision. Feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition and make a decision. So alrighty then, perhaps it has to do with your financial situation, but um, this will be a year wherein perhaps you will make a vital decision. And again, this is a birthday treat, short and sweet, just a little overview. If you need actual insight and details, clarity, timelines, and actually, you know, the, the answers to your own personal concerns and questions, do please hit me up. And my information will be in the description box below. And we're going to pull you now a water crystal oracle for the year. And I get this beautiful card here just popped up. And this card represents Earth. And so we live on Earth. Your card is Earth. This is what the water crystal looks like when you magnetize it. Um, I mean, when you mag magnify it, and it is magnetized by people's thoughts about Earth. This is very pretty, very, very beautiful. But it looks as though it might be having some issues. So perhaps this is something that you might want to concentrate on in your own life, how you go about treating the earth and what you're doing in your own life. So that might be part of your year. And there's certainly going to be a lot of things going on on earth this year. In any case, I want to wish you a very happy birthday to all of the December 16th uh, natives, the two of clubs and the four of diamonds. You are the salt of the earth. 
And I wish you a very, very blessed year, and God bless you. If you were born on December 17th, you're the Ace of Clubs and the Three of Diamonds. The Ace of Clubs is going to give you a lot of energy and um, being an ace, it's that pioneering spirit and having a lot of desire and um, in this case, a desire for knowledge and a lot of um, desire to create as well. So the Ace of Clubs is um, somebody who will be very physically active, somebody who is insatiably desirous of obtaining knowledge in some form or another. And they do have a two of hearts um, karma card. So they will be seeking true love throughout their life or um, until they find it. Um, however, they may jump in and out of relationships until they do. That's one thing about the Ace of Clubs that might be uh, there. So something to look at there. Not, may not be required to jump in and out of relationships to find the one. But um, the, with the two of hearts in their karma, it is a search for ideal love in their lives. And again, with the three, we have an odd number. So this is coming away from the two, a sense of evenness into a sense of creating or lacking maybe. Uh, when I show the three, I always show it as an eight without the one of the top or bottom halves, forcing this person to create financially or to um, perhaps be somebody who worries about money. Um, what's interesting is both uh, Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders are the three of diamonds, but they have the ace of spades. So they have this connection with an ace and a three, um, but they're, they have the common card of the ace of spades rather than the ace of clubs. So the three is going to be somebody who can... Um, for lack of a better uh, term, maybe have a difficult childhood or be somebody who has gotten into trouble for maybe having indecision with regard to values, when in fact what they actually have is an overabundance of creative energy that perhaps was, you know, um, only needing to be channeled in the right direction. So um, there you go. If you are born on December 17th, because you have two... Um, odd number cards, you are going to be somebody who will desire to find <clears throat> satisfaction in the outside world in things that you create in some form or another. So let's go ahead and pull some cards for your year. Happy birthday. The first thing we do is we start with the Ascent Masters deck and we'll just pull four cards. Like I said, it's a short and sweet birthday treat, nothing extensive. Anything that you need extensively, please see me. Uh, privately and check the description box below for any information and uh, bring all birthdays and years because when I look at the book of destiny I look at how old you are this year and I look at the entire year all right so let's begin with health and healing Hilarion so this looks like this is going to be a year of health and healing mental health physical health relationship health any form of health that you seek in this uh, year, you and you know what I, I always love to point out that you were in Sagittarius uh, um, birthdays here, and, and you're you're the most optimistic of the deck. The Sagittarians are so with health and healing, with your optimistic nature, I'm sure it will be attainable. So that may be a great focus of your year and. If you remember this reading, just remember you have it in your arsenal. Maybe that's not the right <laughs> term, but you have it within you to create health and healing. And a lot of it has to do with your optimistic nature as a Sagittarian. Okay, so your second card. Oh my gosh, that glare. I wonder about that glare. Oh, anyway, let's pull you. An angel um, therapy card, Dorian Virtue style. Ooh, the healing angel is with you, supporting your healing work. Well, by golly, if you're born on December 17th, I have a feeling this is going to be a, a year of great healing. Perhaps you are studying the healing modalities, um, such as Reiki or 
you know, acupressure or any kind of medit, you know, um, massage or ha any sort of healing. For me, the healing that I do is a healing of knowledge. And in your case, it could be in any form, but there's strong healing in your next year, which comes, your year begins and ends on your birthday. It's not about calendars, everybody's year, no matter what birthday they are. So many birthdays overlap. All right. When we talk about years, your year, this person's year. Now we're going to pull a magical mermaids and dolphins card for you for the year. Ooh, that glare. I'm going to have to figure that glare out. Sorry about that. And now we have ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. So let's say, for example, you were going into the healing modalities and you had to maybe make a career change or facilitate financial aid or whatever it is. This looks like this is the year for you to bless people with your healing abilities or to jump right in into whatever it is. Maybe, you know, anything could be healing. Opening up a, a health food store or just, you know, deciding to sell products that are, like, for example, safe for the environment, biodegradable. Oh, this popped out. I've got emotion. So emotion is your water crystal oracle. I'm going to start looking at the water crystal oracle booklet here because it's kind of amorphous. These crystals are beautiful. And this is the crystal of emotion. So maybe healing uh, through emotion. Let's see. Cards of healing. Cards of, um, what is this? Emotion. Yes, to be affected by strong emotion and vibration is the best energy source. The more emotion you have every day, the more energetic your life will be. So throw your head back and laugh and have laughter emotions. And if you're sad, cry and tell people how you feel because ultimately it's very um, moving. It's moving for you and for others so emotion, don't be afraid of emotion, work through your emotions, share your emotions, experience your emotions, and how beautiful this water crystal oracle, it has points, and then it has this little split here. I think that's really interesting. In any case, I want to wish you a very happy birthday. Um, check out the intro for how I do my readings and for a look-see into the Book of Destiny and also who I am, etc. And in any case, wishing you the best year possible, and God bless. Happy birthday. If you were born on December 18th, you are most certainly the King of Hearts and the Two of Diamonds. And being a King of Hearts is a pretty cool thing to be because it is somebody who embodies and understands on a deep level that the most important thing in life is love. Um, in addition, the king, the queen, and the jack of hearts just has an uncanny ability to find themselves in a successful position if it comes to create creativity. So um, let me think. I love Toby Mac. He's the king of hearts. Um, I know Modest Yahoo is the king of hearts. I'm trying to think of other king of hearts uh, performers that are famous um, in this time. I'm not really with it, so sorry. Uh, I'm a little out of the loop. Um, in any case, the King of Hearts is somebody who, male or female, is going to have a kingly disposition rather than a more nurturing queen disposition. So this person may uh, desire to be catered to, but at the same time, this is a person who is going to be very sought after by people because they emote a certain energy of love. So if they are a male, this is the king, um, this is the card of the loving father. So this person will make a good father. However, unless they are well matched, their eyes may wander. Because in fact, if they are a male of this category, they will attract a certain amount of attraction from the feminine or uh, the opposite sex or whatever the case may be. So the king of hearts is the card of the loving father. And if you are a female who has this card, um, 
put it this way, if you're a king or a queen of any of the suits, you're going to carry within you a higher amount of poise and dignity or maybe self-control. Um, my daughter's the queen of hearts and she just has a more polished everything about her. I mean, just, it's just the way she came through. In any case, um, it's just the way she came through. Well, it's a little more complicated than that. Now, coming along with the Two of Diamonds, the Two of Diamonds is the card of partnership or business partnership. Two's, um, two's meaning values or even money. So people who have the Two of Diamonds have high, they're highly principled when it comes to love. And all, like all of the Twos, they want to find their soul union. They want to find their partnership. They want to, and they're, they're made in this lifetime to be attractive. Most of the twos or all of the twos have a certain um, attractiveness that will lend itself to attracting that mate that they seek. So these two cards are basically made for love. The two of diamonds is a wheeler and a dealer, uh, meaning that it's uh, this person will be able to manage the finances pretty well if they put their focus on it and even be somebody who cleans out the garage and gets rid of everything at a garage sale, like wheeler and dealer, not, not trying to, uh, cut corners. Just, there's something inherently, uh, business-like about this card. So in any case, I want to wish everybody who's born on December 18th, a very happy birthday and pull you a few cards for the year, a short and sweet birthday treat, nothing detailed, because of course I do not know what year you were born. And if you do want one of those for the overview of the year, please do see me and my information will be in the description box below. And you can bring me the birthdays of all parties that you may be interested in because we compare cards and we find out past life connections and all kinds of stuff. So let's go ahead and pull an Ascended Masters card for your year. And again, like I tell everybody in my videos, your year begins and ends on your birthday. So somebody who's born on April 15th, their year begins and ends on April 15th. We have Follow Your Heart, St. Francis. What a beautiful card for you for this year. Follow Your Heart. This is a year for you to listen to your heart and the still small voice is still small and follow what it is that the tune of your own drum, whatever it is that's leading you, it's bound to be a successful endeavor, whether it's love, business, just trust your instincts and trust your heart to lead you. And if your mind is being negative, then just pull your energy back to your heart chakra and meditate there for a while. So there you go. Follow your heart. Very beautiful card. Next card for you, Angel Therapy, Dorian Virtues. All these cards are from her collection for the most part. And you are a powerful light worker. Beautiful. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and loving service to the divine. You're a king of hearts, for goodness sake. You're here to sh to spread love but um, and light, but... Perhaps you have modalities and certain gifts that are uh, helpful or can be developed. So this is something that you may want to um, consider when you are going through your year, that you are a light worker and that you are the light. Let's pull you an angel. I'll call these angel. Mermaids and dolphins. Magical mermaids and dolphins. I call them angels all the time. All right. Yes. Self-forgiveness. Let go of old guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child. And, you know, I've gone through my days thinking, I totally forgive myself. I totally forgive myself. I, I haven't done anything wrong. But there's levels of self-acceptance that we have yet to reveal to ourselves and and if you're at all criti uh, critical of others, that's what made me realize I'm only as critical of others as critical as I am of myself. So this is just a revelation I had over the last actually 24 hours. And I'm maybe supposed to have seen that because, I mean, to have felt that because 
it's important for us to forgive ourselves. Ultimately, we will see how maybe harsh and critical we are by our interactions or our unforgiveness to others. So let go of old guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child and that, you know what, it's okay. You know, nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. We get it back up on the pony and we keep on riding. We're going to give you a beautiful water crystal oracle for the year. Your year begins and ends on your birthday. So it should be a, a wonderful year following your heart. Getting yourself back to feeling however it is that's the best for you. Through self-forgiveness and forgiveness of others. Here we go. Ooh. Okay. Autonomic nerve halo. This is a healing one. So I'm going to go to the book for this. And this is one where this has to do with physical healing and emotional healing. So these are the ones where... These are the cards of the healing group where there are positive and negative emotions associated with each physical aspect that are indicated in parentheses. And this one is the autonomic hurt nerve, autonomic nerve. So that is affection or hatred and tenderness. So basically this is, this is one way to look at this is to, to eradicate negative thoughts that we may have we have to practice it the opposite. So if you feel any hatred or any self-hatred or negative emotions, then concentrate on the polar opposite of affection and put somebody in a light bathing, uh, a, a, a light bath or a love bath or um, use mantras or other healing modalities to affect a, a more affectionate stance towards maybe something or somebody that you hate or even yourself. For whatever reason. So this is a healing through its opposite um, energetic frequency. So if there's hatred in your heart, um, I don't think you're alone in the world. I don't think there's anybody who doesn't experience a certain amount of negative emotions. But um, again, to balance it, focus on its exact opposite. And yeah, it's more difficult to love those who are unlovable and um you may be feeling that that's you in some way but remember that you are a powerful light worker and healing begins with self so i applaud you in that this year and i want to wish you a very very happy birthday and um may god bless you If you were born on December 19th, you are the Queen of Hearts and the Three of Hearts. And what that says about you is that you are the card of the Loving Mother. If you are a woman, you're basically one of the kind of perfect women that men would be desirous of because you embody so many wonderful talents and skills and and if you were a man you have a lot of these same skills that make you really a wonderful husband somebody who might be good at cooking or gardening or some form of art my daughter has this card and she's quite a good painter and like the king queen and jack of hearts you are going to have success in the cards with your creativity if you have um, some talent stick with it and um, your three is going to make you an artist because all of the threes are artists. They have to be because if uh, an infinity symbol was just part of it, just as a three, it would be lacking its strength until it builds it. So that's what the issue is with the three. The queen is going to be uh, powerful in its own right because this is the royalty, the suit, and it's going to have a lot more poise. This person is going to have a lot more poise and control over their emotions, and so therefore they can have more social success. The three is going to be a worrier, however, all as all threes are, until they do access their high creative energy that causes them to have anxiety or high um, energetic, maybe. Um, energies that turn to worry unless they're facilitating their focusing or, or channeling their manifesting their creativity. 
So this is going to be a highly creative person, somebody who, um, if they're a man or, or a woman, this is also the card of sexual um, satisfaction and pleasure, so they'll be good in bed. They're the loving mother. They're very nurturing souls with a lot of beautiful qualities that may cause us to want to push them down out of jealousy. <laughs> That's just a little joke. But um, let's pull, and happy birthday to you. If this is your birthday, we're going to pull a few um, cards, short and sweet birthday treat, nothing specific to you. I would need your year of birth to find out what year this is, as I do look into the Book of Destiny for people's romantic uh, questions, career, anything. I'll leave my information in the box below. But for now, let's pull you a few cards for your birthday. And this is from the Ascended Masters, Doreen Virtue. Deck. December 19th. Persistence. So if you have anything going on with you, perhaps you have some creative pursuits and you're not quite where you want to be with them, um, persist. Whatever it is creativity, your, um, whatever it is, persistence is the, the key word for your year. Don't give up. We're going to pull you a, did I just lose a card? No, it's my imagination. Angel therapy card for you for the year. Your year begins and ends on your birthday in my system, in the destiny, the Atlantean Oracle. So, Earth Angel, you are a light worker who has come to Earth to teach about love. You most definitely have. In my past life, I wrote a, a book called Autobiography of a Yogi. And in the second page, I said, my mother was a queen of hearts. And in this life, my daughter, who was my mother in my past life, was a queen of hearts. Believe it or not. Yeah, I know that sounds convoluted and strange. Anyway, you're an Earth Angel and you have come here to teach about love. You're the queen of hearts. You're going to teach as a mother teaches only through love, as a queen of hearts does. That is really cool. Let us do um, Magical Mermaids and Dolphins card for you. I do apologize for the heavy glare. I'm working out my, my online thing with fear and with... <laughs> Oh, we'll get it together. Here we go. Ooh, healing heart, you're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. So excellent. This is a lot of healing, persistence, and again, if you're a Sagittarian, you're going to have optimism. You're going to have a certain buoyancy and optimism that the other suits, I mean, the other signs don't have, and that's going to carry you a great, uh, deal further with that positivity that you have. And so if you are pursuing anything regarding healing or earth angel, that would be, um, what I'm doing, selling products that are safe for the environment, biodegradable, pH balanced, non-toxic and certain things. Like that. So you're going to, you know, this is something that you can have great success in. And, um, let me pull a water crystal Oracle for you for the year. Let's see what we have for you. So this is a timeless reading. It's for whoever uh, stops and looks at this and has this birthday. Let us look at a card for you. Water Crystal Oracle, December 19th. Ooh, soul. This is a very beautiful card. This is the wisdom from the wisdom Um. I don't like to hold it this way because it, to me it looks like a heart. So I put it this way. And let me read what it says here for soul. By enhancing our vibrational output, we are improving our environment both internally and externally. So your soul's signature is just what it is and it looks as though you've got a lot to give and through your persistence uh, you will be doing a great amount of healing this year and I applaud you for that and I want to wish you a very very blessed year and may God be with you and again happy birthday
If you were born on December 20th, you are both the Jack of Hearts and the King of Hearts. And this is going to give you some really strong creative talent. It's going to give you the Jack of Hearts is the card of Sacrifice for Love card. It's also known as the Christ card. So you are going to have a certain understanding in this lifetime of sacrificing for a higher ideal, for somebody that you love, sacrificing for love, and having a more noble, more Christ-like approach to love. So you are the card of sacrifice for love and the card of the loving father. So whether you are a female or a male, you are going to be kind of somebody, well, kind of somebody, definitely somebody who embodies a knowledge that love is the most important thing. And because of this, in fact, you know, having two of the higher, you know, the, the, the court cards, the royal, the royalty, you have a higher, um, success rate through your personality, having more poise, maybe more control over your emotions. Um, and you can look, like a very polished individual out there can you can have great success with business um in any case uh at the very least have have confidence in your creative abilities what what in whatever modality you may find yourself because you can have success with these two cards so um let's get on with your short and sweet birthday reading um, well, I want to tell you more about the King of Hearts before I go on. The King of Hearts is the loving father card. And as a man, they will make a great father. As um, a husband, they need to be well matched or their eyes may wander because they attract love. And they may embody it so um, fully that they are just a magnet for love. So they need to be very well matched um, if they're a male with this card and they do make a great father. Um, and the Jack of Hearts is, again, very noble in their approach towards their fellow man in many ways. So let's go ahead and pull some cards for your year, which begins and ends on your birthday. And to have a full... Um, Atlantean Oracle Book of Destiny reading, I would need your year of birth. And please check the intro to this video and the description box below for anything else that may that you may be interested in looking at. Alright, so for December 20th, happy birthday to you. This is your Ascended Masters card for the year. Just a little overview. Ooh, artistic expression. What was I saying? I was saying that you would do great doing creative work. So if that is something, you know, it's part, it's in your blood. It's in, it's who you are. Something or you have a desire to share uh, creatively in this life for sure. And if you don't, and you've ever had an inkling or, you know, this would be the year to test it out, and you'd be very surprised at how much talent you actually do have that you didn't access prior. We're going to do Angel Therapy card for you for the year. One more shuffle. Yeah, baby, with your cards, I'm just trying to tell you, you got it going on. I told you you've got that ability. Workshops and seminars. Attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose. Be open to teaching and learning. So whether you're going or whether you're giving them, you'll be assimilating them by osmosis because this is part of your journey. With these cards, I just see, and being a Sagittarian on the cusp of Capricorn, very strong. Okay, angels and mermaids, and then a water crystal oracle for the year. Little overview. 
whoops, this one wants to pop out, I think. They, when they want to pop out, I'm not exactly sure what to do. Let's see. Okay, here we go. If it's meant to be, it'll come out again. Oh, okay. Let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care and receive without guilt or apologies. So if you're a super giver, which you probably are, you may be somebody who is uncomfortable or unfamiliar with receiving. And so therefore, it's something that you need to um, proactively, consciously do. So let yourself receive. Apparently, you'll be receiving a lot of love this year. And who knows, maybe you'll be receiving a lot of accolades or a lot of new uh, clients, customers, viewers, subscribers, whatever it is you're doing. Alrighty, let's do a water crystal oracle for your year. Oop! The, what? A card literally like flew out and flew underneath my table. Like, what on earth? I'm not trying to stall this. I think I'm going to pull. Let me see. Is that it? There it is. This must be for you. Wisdom and compassion. Wisdom and compassion. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Let me read this one. Give me a second here. Wow. I think I need to keep the lights on and that might help with my glare. So maybe the, the angels threw my card underneath the table because they have a lot of wisdom and compassion for my sorry video skills. So wisdom and compassion for you. Cards of wisdom. Drawing on the wisdom of the past, we are able to show compassion to others and let healing take its natural course. So... Yeah, we have to um, integrate wisdom of the past into our compassion. If it's something natural for you, that's wonderful. But it does look like your year is going to be one where you're giving wisdom and compassion, maybe even receiving wisdom and compassion, giving seminars or receiving that wisdom through seminars. In any case, it's going to be an act of osmosis wherein it's going to fuel your artistic expression or maybe your own future workshops and seminars. What a beautiful reading. I want to wish you a very happy birthday, December 20, 20th, and may God bless you. See me for anything detailed regarding your, um, your year ahead. God bless. If you were born on December 21st, you are the Ten of Hearts, and because it is a cusp, you're either the Ace of Diamonds or the Queen of Diamonds. So if you are more on the Sagittarian side, you're an Ace of Diamonds. And if you're more on the Capricorn side, you're the Queen of Diamonds. So I'll go through them all. But you're most definitely a Ten of Hearts birth card if you're born on December 21st. And the Ten of Hearts is a card that, like all Tens, can behave very much like a royalty card, like a King or Queen. So the Ten of Hearts, hearts in, um, represent people, love, love affairs, uh, popularity. This is a card of success with groups, success with large groups. And this is somebody who may deal with individuals one at a time, but with large groups like maybe a doctor or a, a, a counselor. Um, in any case, it could be you know somebody who deals with large groups at one time like a tour guide or a teacher or a rock star, okay? So um, the Ten of Hearts is going to be somebody who, when they are young, male or female, I do want them to know that because they are so very socially popular, they can fall into the trap of being a follower rather than a leader. 
So there is, um, that's one of the advices that I give to the young people with this card is that you do have a lot of popularity. Use it as a leader rather than a follower because you can find yourself um, following the wrong people with that much popularity. If you understand the gist of it, you are socially popular. As an ace, if you're more on the Sagittarian side, you would have a lot, an abundance of energy and a strong desire for love and money, and also a strong desire for personal love, very active, um, and a, a pretty decent person that, you know, the aces of, of diamonds make a decent person overall. I mean, you know, give or take any, you know, nurturance or things you may know about. Okay, so... Um, Aces are very masculine in nature, and they're very pioneering. They're very, um, they can be naive in a lot of ways as a novice. They can come into the world and seem as though they have a great deal to learn, even if they're an old soul and they've lived many lives. In this lifetime, they've come in with a great desire for love and money, and they're going to exert this masculine energy over their environment. So on the more of a Capricorn side, the queen of diamonds is the mother of philanthropy. This is going to be somebody who, and you know, when it comes to the cusps, if you can resonate with all of these, perhaps that's the way the, the cusps should be read. But, um, I've always, you know, I've always said one or the other, but sometimes in some cases I'll, I'll see that they all apply, but usually it's usually one or the other. Now the queen of diamonds is going to be somebody who's highly psychic and highly able to intuit things. They, are going to be good with money, good with making money, but they don't want to make money for the sake of it, but for philo like the philanthropic uh, reasons. They want to make money helping others or by doing something that is good for the world. The queen of diamonds can also be a bit of a spendthrift. In other words, they want to raise money for the less fortunate because they are the card, the mother of philanthropy. But as um, I've said in the other videos, this person will buy themselves the best crap first before they raise money for the less fortunate because they do love the best quality. Um, in fact, these two cards are September 10th. That's my brother without the 10 of hearts. Anyway, long story short, uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, if you were born on December 21st, you're the, you're the 10 of hearts with either the ace of diamonds or the 10 of hearts and the queen of diamonds. Um, if you feel like it embodies you, you know, say something to me in the, um, in the comments below. I want to wish you a very happy birthday and I want to pull four cards for you, a short and sweet birthday treat and let you know that your birthday, your year begins and ends on your birthday and, um, an outlook for whatever, however age you are is always available at your uh, convenience. Look into the description box below for my information and I can look into the Book of Destiny for you. The first card I'm going to pull for you is the Ascended Masters deck with the um, Archangel Michael on it. This is uh, Doreen Virtue. And yeah, you're on the cusp. So very powerful cards. Sagittarian Detached from Drama. Paulus Athena. So very um, Capricorn is very hardworking and very goal oriented and Sagittarian is very sociable. So you have, you know, you have some good cards here with that 10. So detach from drama. This is a year to remember not to engage, not to perpetuate um, situations and to avoid uh, drama as it may disturb your equilibrium and your peace. So one of the overviews for your year ahead is to detach from drama. Let us pull an angel therapy card for you. And this is with, I think this is Archangel Raphael on it. I'm not sure, but I think that's how they represent it. Okay, so here's a card for you. Ooh, Earth Angel, you are a light worker who has come to Earth to teach about love. With the Ten of Hearts, you really are somebody who has the ability to touch many hearts one at a time or in a large group. And yes, you are an Earth Angel 
and you are here to teach about love. And you're discovering that in yourself perhaps at this time if you're young, but that is an indication about your developing and unfolding nature. Let us pull a, where are my mermaids? A magical mermaids and dolphin card for you. And then we'll do a water crystal oracle and wish you a very happy birthday and a very happy year. Set your sights higher. Increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. All right. So apparently you're being urged to progress. And when it comes to maybe relationships, set your sights higher. When it comes to what your goals or achievements are in life, what it is you see yourself doing, set your sights higher. Whatever it is, and you will know. Because this is a timeless reading and it will speak to whomever it's designed to speak to at that time. So this is a year for you to set your sights higher. And as you do so, you will achieve those goals. Let's pull a water crystal oracle for you. And wow, okay. I get winter. I don't know what this means, but we're going to look at it. We are in winter, and you are born in winter. And let me see what the book says about winter. Give me a minute here. <laughs> So this is a card of earth. Let me see how to use the cards of earth. All right, so winter, as days shorten and the temperature drops, we may experience water in the form of snow. It blankets nature with a promise of new life to come. Let the snow land on your face and feel it turn to water as the crystals return to their original form. So basically, enjoy your birthday, enjoy your season, enjoy now. And again, happy, happy birthday. And may God bless you. Namaste.